kind of tell we're out of WrestleMania season now. Roman's off. The Rock's off. And you're kind of settling into more of the norm. Cody Rhodes finished his story, and now who gives a crap? Fans are already starting to be bored with it. Big surprise to me. But that's not the topic of this video. What is the topic of this video, though, is how quickly fans forget or how quickly fans lose logic, <laughs> how quickly fans demonstrate that they just really don't understand sometimes. I was very surprised to see after Raw on Monday night how many fans were asking a question or making a statement about Jey Uso beating Ilya Dragunov. However the fuck you say his name, I don't give a shit. You have people asking, was that the right decision? Should Jey Uso be beating Dragunov here? Why would you do that to him? You have people say, oh, now you're ruining this guy. They're mad because they want to see this dude versus Walter on a random fuck off Raw. And you know what? It's these types of fans that tell on themselves. It's these types of fans that demonstrate how little real awareness they have for professional wrestling, how boring and narrow their scope of interest is when it comes to wrestling because it's only about the moves and the matches and nothing else. How they can't see the bigger picture if it was on the blind side of a, or the front side of a fucking barn. And you really wonder just how many of these wrestling fans say this dumb shit, just how bad they are in the business world. On what fucking planet, in what universe, should a new to the main roster, Ilya Dragunov, lose to fucking Jey Uso? I'll tell you what planet. Planet fucking Earth. The wrestling industry where you want to make money. What world should a Jey Uso be losing clean on Raw to a Dragunov? Absolutely fucking lutely none right now. I can't believe this is even a debate or a topic. Are fans turning this quickly on Jey Uso or are they just that stupid? Let's compare the resumes for a moment if you don't mind. You've got Jey Uso, who is as over and hot as any solo babyface right now in the entire damn company until Roman comes back. I think the fans like him and are into him more certainly than a fucking Cody Rhodes right now. And when you look at the reactions that this guy gets when he comes out down the ramp, it's really hard to argue with that. Like main event Jey Uso, yeet yeet, they got something, right? Look at that crowd reaction in France and how massively over this dude was. And meanwhile, you got the other guy who's been in NXT for a few years. In some ways, a typical indie darling. Oh, he's great matches. I think he's a good in-ring talent, certainly, right? But this is representative of how wrestling has lost the plot over the years. And it became way too much about the matches that move nothing instead of the moments that matter. The characters, the stories, the presentation, the feel, the way it makes you feel. And for those that are going to get their flaming keyboard fingers of fire ready and say, I love this type of wrestling. It is hard hitting, fast paced action. Yeah. And then what? And then you want it again and again and again and again. Like I could sit here and see 
if Ilya versus Gunther was something you have never ever fucking seen before, but that's not true. So what the hell are you talking about here? Jey Uso literally, literally at the last pay-per-view just wrestled for the world title. He just did that. You don't turn around and have him lose on a fucking fuck off raw in like the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament to some asshole that just debuted from NXT. You don't do that for a number of reasons. Number one, you look at all of that investment that the WWE over the past few years has put into the Jey Uso character. They are just now starting to realize the benefits of this. They are just now starting to reap what they've sowed. Why in the hell, in the world of Vince McMahon, would you want to undercut that at this point? Certainly, if Vince was around, you could see that happening, but he's not anymore. This is about maximizing your return on your investment. And they've invested a lot into Jey Uso. He's been in a lot of prominent spots. Big money, main event. Big feature matches. And you're going to have him lose in a quarterfinal tournament match to some, let's face it, on the main roster fucking no-namer. Ding dong, dumb dicks, that doesn't make any fucking sense. And then when you think about this whole notion of when somebody comes new to the roster, that they've automatically got to win and that's how you get them over. If anything, that makes wrestling look stupid. Because how often do you see rookies in a sport come in and they struggle and it takes time and they got to figure out how to win. And we talk about wins and losses. You know, wins and losses are part of the deal. And sometimes wrestling gets too cute and gets too disconnected from reality by having too many heels win dirty and having too many baby faces not lose clean. Like, if you just look at that shit on paper, a Dragunov shouldn't even be in the same ring as a Jey Uso, let alone competitive with him at this point, let alone fucking beating him. All because you want to see him take on Walter? Excuse me, I keep calling him Walter instead of Gunther. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean. All because you want to see him. Yeah, you want it. what you really want to see is Dragunov versus Walter. That's what you want to fucking see. But you want to see him and Gunther next week on what a fucking random ass raw that you're going to forget instead of building up to that shit. If that's what you want, then in my opinion, you're stupid and your opinion really should be invalidated and not listened to. That's a match that a lot of fans could legitimately get at least somewhat excited about they could get into. Why in the fuck would you want to throw it out there with almost no goddamn build behind it? Like, who would fucking do that? You want to see these dream matches on random fucking shows? Go watch AEW. They do that dumb shit all the fucking time. No, build up to this shit. Try to make some money off of it. Make it matter when it happens. You should be building that shit towards SummerSlam at a minimum, not goddamn next week's Raw. What the fuck? It'd be stupid to have him beat Jay at this point. It's stupid to give away him and Gunther on Raw for free the next week with no fucking build. It's stupid to undercut Jay Uso when frankly right now the better one-on-one match and story would be between a Jay Uso and a Gunther. You got so many other things you could do. Like, where the fuck... Where did we fucking cross this Rubicon? Where fans consistently say this dumb shit. Like, years ago, you would have sat there and said, Hey, this was a good spot for Ilya. He showed some potential. Come back and do it again down the road. And now you got people raging, talking about, oh, they buried him. Oh, they fucking ruined him already. I can't believe they did that. 
He just lost to arguably the most over and hottest baby face in the goddamn company. And that's a bad thing? He should be thanking Jey Uso for the rub. He should be thanking Jey Uso for even being able to be in that spotlight in that opportunity. If you haven't picked up by now, complaining about Jey Uso winning on Monday night on a fucking random ass Raw is stupid. Turning on him in any way because you're mad you didn't get Dragunov versus fucking Gunther next week is really, really stupid. You got to play the long game with these things sometimes. Unlike when you hit the fucking jerk off time, you know, it doesn't have to instantly happen. I know we live in an instant gratification society, but sometimes a slow simmer in the build is better, you stupid idiot. Fuck. Of all the things. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Ah.